In this episode, you'll hear my suggestions for a basic recorder that you can use for anything and super important tips on how to get the best recordings from your first recorder. Maybe you're going to need a recorder for college or you're just starting out and thinking about playing with audio for the first time or even if you feel you may need it for work. Let's have a look at a couple of different recorders and find out which one may be the best one for you. just wanted to run through a couple of different models that I think would be absolutely perfect for anyone starting out to record. Though equipment changes all the time, so we'll keep you up to date with any new developments on the recorder front. And don't forget, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I will get back to you with any help I can offer. And also, click the subscribe button. You don't want to miss any of this amazing Adorama content. First things first, let's not go too crazy. Let's just look at stereo recorders for the moment. So stereo recorders record in stereo. We need nothing more complicated for starting out. You will need something portable and simple to use. You'll also need to get yourself a quality SD card with lots of space. The last thing you need is for your card to die before, during or after recording. I'm always looking for something with a little more bang for your book. So I had to mention the Tascam recorders. Firstly, the Baby Dior 22WL, super simple to use. There's also Wi-Fi control of the recorder for recording from a distance. It can also be used for transferring files via the app. So good. In the same vein, the Dior 05X, like the 22XL, but this one you can use as a USB mic, so please note podcasters. The other starter recorder and well beyond that I have to mention is the Tascam DR40. This is so much bang for your buck, especially considering the low price. Super high quality resolution recording. There are two mic configurations. You can use XY and AB. It also has a super feature for anyone starting out, dual recording. How dual recording works is, as you record your source, there's another recording happening at the same time, but at a lower level. If there's a sudden jump in the loudness of what you're recording, the lower level recording may be safe from distortion or breakup. A real safety blanket when you're only learning to record. In fact, I wish I had it on some of my recorders. As I said, well beyond because you'll be able to utilize this machine for a long time to come. It has four tracks of recording and the ability to plug in two external mics. So as you expand in your abilities, this machine will be with you every step of the way. The Zoom H1N is a super little recorder, simple as you like. There are two quality mics and a big record button. Set your level, hit the button and you're off. You can use it plugged in directly to your computer as a podcasting mic. It also has the ability to attach another quality mic, but you can't use the inbuilt mics at the same time, so it would be great for using with, a, say, a lav or maybe even a shoot. The H1N is very ergonomic on the storage front and it operates on very little battery. This sturdy little recorder is a super option for a first recorder. Of course, if you have an iPhone, you don't have to go to the expense of buying a dedicated recorder. There are really high quality mics that you can plug straight into your phone. Now, please note, I don't mean the ones with the headphone looking jack. That connector TRRS, that connector only records in mono. I'm talking about a proper set of mics that plug straight into the lightning connector on your iPhone. Sure, make the MV55, zoom the IQ6 and roll the IXY. Great mics. But I think the IXY has a beautiful character to the sound. Another note, check that you can also plug in headphones when you use your IXY, because it's hard in some specific iPhone models. All of these machines are only simple recorders that record sound. They're not super duper expensive shotgun mics. They do a job and they do it well. You will need to get close to your source that you're recording. 
they're not built to be able to record from a distance. If you can get your hands on any of these machines, then please do a bit of testing. Recording from a distance and recording from close by. Do put a vocal ident at the start of each recording, explaining the recording setup. For example, I'm recording birds from a distance in stereo and the date. Listen to what you're hearing in comparison to the explanation in your ident. Listen to the recordings and listen to the difference of each recording, distant and close. These tests will really help you position your mic well when you have to go out and record for real. There's no point in using just a recorder on its own. You absolutely need, and I keep saying it, you need a handle to isolate the recorder from any hand moving. It causes noise on your recordings. You will also need, without question, a quality windshield. The slightest breath of wind can destroy a good recording. I'm Keith Alexander and you've been watching Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos and tell us what you think. You can like, you can comment, or you can share this video. And please come by the Adorama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks.